The idea of running Ubuntu on your phone has always felt like a dream. A phone that's truly yours. Open source, private, and connected to your PC experience. But here in 2025, that dream is slowly becoming reality. Ubuntu Touch, maintained by the UbiPorts community, has evolved far beyond its early experimental days. Let's start with what Ubuntu Touch really is. It's not just a Linux skin on top of Android. It's a completely independent Linux-based mobile operating system. Built with open source principles and powered by the Lemiri interface, formerly known as Unity 8. It's smooth, lightweight, and designed for touch-first devices. Now, performance-wise, things have changed dramatically in 2025. Devices like the Fairphone for Vala Phone X23 and Pinephone Pro are running Ubuntu Touch like never before. The UI feels fluid, app launches are faster, and most importantly, the convergence feature, connecting your phone to a monitor and turning it into a desktop, actually works well now. You can plug in a keyboard, mouse, and monitor, and instantly have a full Ubuntu desktop. That's something Android and even iOS can't truly match. But of course, the big question is, can it really replace Android? Let's talk apps. Ubuntu Touch uses its own system called Libertine to run traditional Linux desktop apps. And you can also use native Ubuntu Touch apps from the open. While you won't find Instagram or Snapchat here, you'll find privacy respecting alternatives, Telegram, Signal, Morph Browser, and even open source maps and notes apps. The experience is focused on privacy and control. There are no background ads, no Google tracking, and no forced cloud sync. It's a digital detox and a productivity boost at the same time, but it's not perfect. Some hardware features like cameras or fingerprint sensors still depend on device support, and app availability is still a challenge compared to Android's massive ecosystem. Yet, that's where things get exciting. In 2025, the community is experimenting with WayDroid, a system that lets you run Android apps inside Ubuntu Touch. This means you can run Telegram, WhatsApp, or even YouTube in an Android container without leaving your Ubuntu system. It's the best of both worlds. Open source freedom with the convenience of Android apps. Now, let's talk about the design. Lemiri's new version looks beautiful. It's simple, flat, and responsive. The gestures feel modern, notifications are cleaner, and system settings are better organized. It honestly feels like a modern smartphone OS, not a geeky experiment anymore. The real magic, though, is convergent. Imagine editing a document on your phone during your commute, then docking it to a monitor at home and continuing exactly where you left off with full keyboard and mouse support. That's not a concept anymore. It's reality with Ubuntu Touch 2025. In short, Ubuntu on phones is no longer a dream. It's a growing reality powered by community passion, privacy, and open source innovation. It might not replace Android for everyone yet, but it's already the perfect choice for people who value freedom over convenience. And if you're thinking of trying it, grab a compatible phone like the Fairphone, Vala, or Pinephone Pro, uh, and join the revolution early. The future of mobile Linux is just getting started.